What's up guys? Welcome back to Caribbean Spice. Today I'm gonna do a sauce tasting for you guys. I have here some uh, Marie Sharp's habanero sauce. This is the the hot version. I kept hearing a lot about this sauce in the, in the groups. So I figured I would give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and um, open it. My first time actually trying this sauce, but it gets rave reviews everywhere. Uh, the sauce is made in Belize, uh, Central America, and it's a really, really simple sauce. It's select habanero peppers. She grows her own uh, habaneros there for the sauce. They use carrots as the, as the base, water, vinegar, onion, salt, and uh, lime juice and garlic. So it's not uh, complex. It doesn't have any kind of like propriety where it says uh, spices, like a lot of sauces will put in spices, but they won't tell you exactly what's in it. This sauce actually tells you exactly uh, what's in it and uh, no secrets. So um, it says Mary Sharp's Habanero Pepper Sauce is the finest product of its kind. This unique carrot-based blend achieves the perfect balance between flavor and heat. Nestled in the foothills of the Mayan mountains, Marie Sharp's factory still creates products the old fashioned way, using the freshest vegetables and the finest ingredients. His secret homemade recipe utilizes the potent red habanero pepper produced in the fertile paradise of Belize. Her red habanero is considered to be one of the hottest peppers known to man. Marie has spent many years cultivating a habanero worthy of her recipe. She has succeeded. So that's basically the backstory. Let's see what we got. Mmm, smells really good. Right up front, I get the smell of like onion. Let me go ahead and give this a good shake before I. I can see the seeds in it. Um, see if I can get you guys to see that. It's still got like some seeds. It's fairly chunky. It's not a real runny sauce i mean it's it's liquid but it's not um like all liquid so yeah the first smell i'm getting is onion all right let's see what we got there we go Wow. It's very nice. Wow. Getting some really nice um, balance of acidity. Um, it's got like little chunks of um, pepper in it. Good amount of, of, of um, onion flavor and garlic. Like definitely a strong onion flavor in it. It almost feels like like there would be like tomatoes or tomatillo in it, but it says there's not. So I guess that's probably the onions and possibly um, little chunks of um, of habanero. Uh, very tasty. Heat level for me, uh, definitely mild. It's not hot, even though it says hot. Um, it's a very mild sauce, but um, flavor wise, I would probably give it a seven as far as flavor on a one to 10 scale. Um, very tasty. I can see this going on just about everything, like a nice table sauce. Uh, multi-purpose you could use on um, anything from you know from pizza to breakfast to sandwiches um, rice dishes definitely a good all-around sauce I like the way it pours I like that it's a little bit chunky I like my sauce is a little bit smoother uh, probably about the same consistency of liquid but I, I just prefer them to be a little bit smoother 
Um, I feel like you can, on a squeeze bottle or something, you just get it out easier. But um, pretty tasty. I mean, it's, it's definitely good. Lives up to the name. It's got a lot of um, loyal followers in the pepper groups. So for sure. I actually got six of these. So I'm going to review all of them and uh, do the opening for all of them. Uh, with time on uh, on video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the sauce review video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share so we can continue growing Caribbean Spice. And I'll see you really soon on the next one.